hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on twist of fate stay tuned on today's episode rambi and pratchim's moments continue the goons sell Pratchett for a big price and tells mona that they have to load the girls in a temple and sell them across the border Shana doesn't want the goons to know she called for help and hides the phone. The goons find her in the car. She tells that she was looking for keys to flee. They take her back to the warehouse. Rambi f reminds Prachi their last fight. Prachi tells she's talking of love and he's talking of fight. He tells him isn't mad to ask her to fight and calls her a liar and tells that she didn't say I love you. She tells she already told I love you. They both call each other liar. She tells I love you to him. He asks her to say it with a feeling and suggests her to open her arms wide and then confess love with much emotions that he won't have food and then die if she doesn't say I love you. She slaps him, open her arms and says I love you. He hugs her saying I love you too. Goons take the girls away. Pache asks Rambi to save them. Rambi asks how he would go out. She asks him to go out from the window. He asks her to stay there and not go anywhere. He leaves. Mona catches Pache. Pache shouts to call Rambi. Rambi comes back and finds Pache missing. Pache asks the goons not to hurt Shahana. Shahana asks Pache if she got wrong. Mona tells about the spray effect. Pache shouts Rambi's name. Rambi also gets caught, begs the goons to let him go. Rambi and Pache tickle the goons. They get free for a moment. They tightly hug. Mona tries to separate them and tells that she will use the spray again and makes them fall unconscious. Shana waits for Vikram. They call Leria and Nalia reach the palace, the place. Dida comments on the shady place. Ria asks Vikram if he's sure of the place. He asks them not to make noise. Dida tells she wants to go with them and get hurt. He asks her to be careful. Dida lectures him. Palavi asks them not to make noise. Ria tells they have to help Rambi and Pachi. Vikram tells them that they can't wait for the police. They will use the police as a backup plan. And goes inside, finds Pratch and Rambi. Rhea calls out Rambi. Palavi stops Rhea. They get sighted at, by the goons. Shana lies to save Palavi and Rhea. Palavi acts like a kidnapper and to save their lives. Rambi tells Pratch their family have come to save them and shows Palavi and calls her mom. Palavi tells she isn't his mom. Rambi asks Palavi why she's denying. Prachi asks Palavi why she held Rhea in that manner. Goons ask them what's happening. Vikram tells it's time. He should go inside and enters the place to fight. Rambi asks Vikram how they came. Shana tells Rambi and Prachi are drunk. They can't run away. Mona gets the spray but fails to use it on anyone. The fight goes on. The goons catches Prachi. Rambi asks the him to leave Prachi. Sid reaches there in time and stops the goons, save Prachi. Rambi bashes the goons. Police reach there to arrest the goons. Inspector thanks Vikram for informing about the human traffickers and tells they would get the reward too. Dida asks him to donate the reward money to the poor. The colleagues bring Rambi and Prachi home. Vikram asks Shana to take care of Prachi. Rhea gets upset seeing Prachi ha home. Sid stays back with Rambi. Here's Palavi and Alia's conversation. Alia tells Rambi fell into trouble because of Prachi. Palavi asks her to stop blaming now. now. She is grateful nothing happened to Rambi and Prachi. Anything could have happened to Prachi and the baby. That Prachi is carrying the collie's baby. Sid is also a collie. It's Sid's baby. She wishes the baby safety. Sid apologizes to Rambi. Feels guilty he ruined a good family. He promises to fix everything. Rhea is sad Rambi came back but got Prachi home. Alia tells Rhea that Rambi got Prachi home by fighting the goons, then he could have ousted her. Rhea tells Rambi and Prachi had a rift between them, but everything changed now. Alia wonders what happened to Palavi and Vikram. They could have asked Prachi to leave. Rhea remembers Rambi's promise to Prachi that he would never, he will always protect her and never leave her, and cries recalling their mutual love confession and tells that she is the reason this happened. Rambi and Prachi's love got stronger and feels she's a fool to unite them back after the separation. Alia asks her to stop cursing each other. Rhea tells they both confess love to each other. Rhea, Leah tells they were drunk, they will forget everything by morning. Rhea tells that their love will always bring them close, that Rambi and Prachi were so happy together. They defeated her again and feels like a loser. Alia slaps her to bring her to senses. Rhea asks why this always happens with her, that even Palavi worries for Prachi and asks what she would do if Palavi unites Rambi and Prachi. Alia asks her to keep faith that Palavi is up to something they can't imagine and consoles Rhea. 
Palavi finds Rambi broken and thinks Rambi used to be joyful and full of life, but he got cheated by his wife. Rambi wakes up. She asks him if he's okay. He asks about the last night and remembers Sid's sweats, feels terrible and shed tears. She promises everything would get fine. He tells he has loved Prachi a lot. He did everything for her. He planned his future with her, but she's pregnant with Sid's child. Palavi asks him to stop crying. Shana asks Prachi to wake up. Prachi remembers a series of events that occurred last night and is relieved that she's at home and tells she wants to leave the house and go away. Shana asks her not to go when Gampati is coming home, that Gampati will end Prachi's problems and guide her the path and asks Prachi to get ready and come. Alia confronts the servants and asks them to return her necklace and blames them for stealing the necklace. The servant defends and tells a poor person couldn't be regarded a thief. He asks Alia to find the necklace at home. Alia asks him to find it. He refuses. She threatens them. Priya finds the necklace and tells it was falling behind the bed. The servant asks Alia to apologize to them for blaming them for the crime they did not commit. But Alia refuses rebukes them and asks them to get out. The colleagues welcome the Kampati home. Rabi and Vikram take the Kampati idol. Sid helps Vikram, who loses the grip on the idol table. Rabi and Arian dance. Rabi and Sid exchange same angry stares. Sid wants to tell him the truth. Shana finds Prachi decked up and compliments her. Prachi feels tensed. Shana confronts, comforts her, telling her how Rabi has professed love for Prachi and promised to never leave her. She tells the family has seen their love. Prachi gets glad. Palavi first finds an emotional hurt Rambi and hugs him. Rhea and Alia wait for Prachi. Prachi comes here. Alia calls her a devil. Rambi and Prachi perform the arty together. Alia pushes Sid towards Prachi. Shana sees this and pushes Rhea towards Sid and makes Sid and Rhea perform the arty together. Prachi makes a prayer that Papa brings the truth out and wishes the truth comes out. Papa brings the truth out in the open and proves her innocent. Rambi wishes Papa takes away his pain and gives him some relief. Rhea prays to get rid of Prachi for once and wants to rule over the house. Alia tells Palavi that she has thought right. Her decision would get into infect. Palavi asks Vikram to come with her. She sees Prachi and Sid together. Vikram asks her the matter. Thank you guys for watching today's update on Twist of Fate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.